And it's a beautiful, happy Sabbath, four minutes late, but we're here. We are happy to be with you guys this morning. A very beautiful day. God bless you all. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Michelle. How are you doing? Hi. Happy Sabbath, Marlene. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I am fantastic. Beautiful. Yes. I was just moving my fan. It looked real tacky behind me. <laughs> I didn't see it, but no. <laughs> <laughs> what had happened was, you know, the weather here is a nice, beautiful, the weather has changed. And um, so you don't need air condition. You just need a fan, you know, just to circulate the little air. So, yeah. I just thought I'd nice. do that. Nice. But it's a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful um, December morning. We're nearing the holidays. <laughs> and um, do you guys like the holidays? I love the holidays. What does the holiday remind you of? It's just beautiful. Hi, Howard. Good morning. Howard's watching. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We are so grateful and um, thankful. Let me just get my Facebook. I had so much, so much sharing to do this morning. Let's see. Nice. Good morning, Edward. Go on through the list, Michelle. I'm trying to open up our other Facebook page. Yeah, because someone is on Facebook. And yes, and I can't see the name. I hate it. But Patrick, good morning. Welcome. And Patrick is from Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Angelique from Rwanda. Good morning. How are you, Angelique? How is it there in Rwanda? Thank you for joining us. We are happy you, you joined us. And please share this live. And mm -hmm. please also like the whichever page you're on, whether it's one of our Facebook pages please. or if it's YouTube, please like and also share because sharing is caring. <laughs> Thank you so much. We need our community, our community, you're our family, you know, yes. and so we really need you guys to help us to share the live. Someone asked me this week, Michelle, uh -huh. he says, you must, have, you must have like a million followers by now. <laughs> why? Why? Like, <laughs> why, like, why, would, why would you even think that? He said, mm -hmm. I'm sure you do. I'm like, no, mm -hmm. it's not no. easy to get people to like your stuff. It's not easy no. to get people to follow. You know, yeah. you have to really like, I don't know what that's asking. Take. Keep asking. You have to keep, keep asking. asking. You really have to ask. If you haven't done so already, like, share, subscribe, yes. comment, yes. please. Please. Hey, please. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> okay, so Angelique, you got through to Angelique. Let's see who else is here. Patrick yeah. is here. And our Facebook okay. user whose name I can't find it, maybe on your page. We thank you yeah. so much for joining us. Rwanda is in the house. Boniface. Thank you all for joining us this morning. What What are the holidays like in Rwanda? What are the holidays like in Sierra Leone? Can you tell us a little bit about what your food options would be like? Good morning, Sister Linda. Happy Sabbath. How are you doing? Marlene, thank you. I'm thinking more than likely Sierra Leone, they don't celebrate Christmas because it's a majority Muslim country. Ah. And um, maybe in Rwanda, though, they're, they're mixed. They're Christian mixed. Mm. So Rwanda more. <laughs> yes. So see, in Sierra Leone, it's major majority Muslim? I believe so. Wow. Yeah. 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 Well, so it's beautiful to introduce to you guys the holidays here, how we celebrate it here. Um, so it's 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 a blessing that we are able to connect with you guys. So thank you for joining. We're happy. You yeah, know? very much so. Wow. I would God love to travel to those all over the world. Yes. God has his people everywhere. We're all made in his image. And mm -hmm. we're just so happy that we can unite as one. It's beautiful. Um, Let's check mega statistics. Mega self, Marlene. Mega self, mega self. I don't usually pronounce these names correctly. Says hello, Marlene and Michelle. This is oh, oh, dear friend, Percy. Fun I won't pronounce the name, Marlene. I think that's your oh. your friend. Where? Mega self, Percy. Fun funny. Oh, Persephone. <laughs> Persephone. 
Good morning, Persephone. Good morning. Yeah, Persephone, Dr. Persephone. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I, awesome. Linda. Okay, don't forget uh, Linda. You're skipping Linda. <laughs> oh, yeah. She says, I'm well, hoping, hope morning, morning, hope morning, Marley, Michelle, and yourself are doing well. Yes, I'm doing great. Yes, I'm alive. Sure. Thank you. I'm alive. Having my juice. I'm having some carrot, celery, cucumber, carrot. And, a, and some pineapple. Oh, nice. a That's a good one. <laughs> mine, is, mine is too she sweet. Says, she said, too funny, my poor name. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I, I, I'm sorry. I did a bad job. Oh, I tried. I tried. <laughs> it's pretty. It's very it's pretty. pretty. <laughs> it's a beautiful name, Persephone. <laughs> Perception. The holidays in Sierra Leone, especially December, is just awesome. Wow. Tell us a bit more. Full of joy before this time. But as of now, it's so boring because the too much hardship. But oh, still God. Still oh. God. I like how you ended it. I love Amen. how you ended it. In spite I, of the difficulties, still God. There exactly. is a Exactly. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, my sister. How are you this morning? That's Jan is in the house. We're going to get started Hi. soon. Jan Welcome. is in the house. We have Jean-Claude. How are you? Good morning. My favorite program. Woohoo! Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so Welcome. much. It's your favorite? It is so refreshing. I have a class like this every morning between my classes to make sure I don't deplete of energy. But this is my energy boost in the morning. No cup of coffee. I have. 16 ounce of carrot, celery, cucumber, ginger, and pineapple. Right? Mm -hmm. I most and this is the first time I've had a pineapple. I mm -hmm. don't normally have nothing like that. I just have carrot. <laughs> Marlene, mine is apple, ginger, celery, cucumber, and apple, cilantro. Ginger. Nice, nice. Cilantro that that should be tasty. Yeah, metal detox, heavy metal detox, chelate. Very good. I'll Very get some of that tomorrow when I go to the store. Yeah, I love it in the juice. That blend, that that is juice is juicing is good, guys. If you haven't started doing it already, you should incorporate into your diet, into your lifestyle. You should do it every day. You know why? Because you get more nutrients from the juices that than you would get just eating. And the amount of the amount that I'm getting in this, I can't eat this much vegetables. I can't. I can, but it'll take me all day. You know, it takes me a long time to be chewing and chewing and chewing and chewing. Yeah. And your jaw gets tired, right? So this is the best way to get in all the... Of course, it's good to have a salad. You got to have your salad and your greens. But, you know, yeah. to make sure that your body is going to get the healing that's necessary. What you having this morning? Oh, you just told us. This one does have um, pomegranate in it too as well. Mm. Pomegranate. I put that. Good for heart. Heart health. It has the cilantro. Heavy metal. Can you see what my cup says? Cut. Yeah. It's trust, uh, trust, trust in the in Lord. Lord. <laughs> and lean, I guess, the, uh, is that it? I it guess. says, trust and in the Lord, Lord and don't be don't afraid. Be afraid. Amen. Macal bought me that. I love this cup. I love that good. one. All right. So, Benoy, we thank you for joining us. Hello, Ostia. Good morning. How are you? I hope all is well. Wherever you are in the world, it may not even be morning because our friend would be in um, Philippines. Of course, she's traveling right now. And she's saying, but Marlene, it's night. So wherever you are, whatever time it is, we come to you with a full heart of love. And Amen. we just want you to really appreciate the information that we've put together for you from week to week. This is a Lifestyle 360. And we come every Saturday morning um, at this time in our country to... Um, to share with you, to share with you what, you know, what topic are pertinent and of, of the most importance. I think another one that we need to share would be flu and cold season, because that's the time that we are living in right now. Bad. Flu and cold on? season. And so we need to help people to, to really um, fight that bug. You know, this week um, in my program, I was teaching people how to get rid of how to get rid of um, cold and flu, you know? So that's very important, you know? That's very important. 
All right. So let me just share one more. She share to one more person I remembered seeing. Sophia had sent me a note. Let me see if I can find her. Let's send that to Kendall and Grace, who was on last night. And yeah, let's Kendall. Do this. Mm -hmm. Kendall Parker. Yes. All oh, green. And um, yeah. Nice. Okay. So I hope all of you are well and I hope you're ready to get started with our program today. Um, trying to find um, Sophia. There we go. All right. Good stuff. Let's go. All right. So our topic this morning, one of great value and we hope that you appreciate Hey, good morning from Kissimmee, Florida. Kissimmee. We have Sister Sonia. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you all. Muzika, we appreciate you all so much. Thank you. Please share the live. Share the live. Share the live. You think that everybody else is sharing and nobody's sharing. So do it. Yeah. You know, that's what we always think. That somebody, that, that's, a, that's a little quote. I don't remember how it goes, but we all think that somebody's doing it and somebody didn't do it, but nobody ended up doing it. True. So why don't you do it? All right. Lifestyle 360. Here are some ways to manage your eating disorders during the holidays. And, um, <laughs> you know, this week as we were sharing in the group, Michelle, about eating during the holidays, I really, it just came to me. This was a topic that I think God wanted us to share. But I was like, uh, do you think it's really a problem? Yes, it is. Oh, major. Major, major problem. A major, major, major problem. So I'm going to ask my sister to type. She's my sister, Ostia. Type it so I can listen. <laughs> I can read it. Yeah. Uh, okay, that. good stuff. So here are some ways that you can manage what you're going through. Go on, Michelle. While I play Ostia's Okay, message. so we're going to start with Proverbs 23, verses 1 to 3. When thou sittest to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before thee and put a knife to thy throat. If thou be a man given to appetite, be not desirous of his dainties for they are deceitful meat. That's so powerful. So if you know your weakness um, is to indulge and, you know, go off once you start, it's better to, this is what literally, it's like, don't eat. Don't be tempted. And I know around the holidays, it's a huge time for all your favorite food, foods to be displayed. And if you know you don't have that cutoff where you will eat just sufficient, you're going to take seconds and thirds and fourths. This is saying that you need to have self-control. Yes, yes, yes. We must have self-control. We must have self-control. We must practice self-control, Michelle, and we yes. must know that we can win this battle. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. So come up with a plan. Come up with an eating plan for the holiday. Planning yeah. your meals ahead of the holidays will leave you far less stress, yes, or anxious. Speak to your nutritionist, your dietitian, your doctor, your coach, like myself or Michelle, about your holiday meals. Talk to the host ahead of time to see what's on the menu and ensure that you can find something to eat. That's important. I remember, I remember um, my customer would come to my shop and he would say, Mark, I know you didn't mind me calling his name. Mark would say, Marlene, before I go to a restaurant, I literally, Marlene, call to see if they have anything on that menu that I can eat. If it's, if it's not online, I actually pick up the phone and call, okay? So if you and I can just get that down pat, we would do so well, you know? Yes. Pick up the phone, call the host, somebody who's having the party. You know, Christmas, I'll be in another island for Christmas, and my friend already texted, she already called the company that we're going to have lunch at Christmas Day, to see if they have any vegan meals for me. Absolutely. That's she said, Marlene, you can eat this, this, and that. They have vegan options. You know, that's how we must plan. If we don't 
There's a quote. How does the quote go? If we fail to plan. If we fail to plan, we plan to fail. That's it. So to avoid the temptation or the stress of the holidays, plan. Oh. Write down your plan. Write it now. Start today. Right? And plan where and when you will be eating. Timing is everything. And you know something, Michelle? Yeah. You know, when I used to be really chunky, when I was chunkier than I am now, because I still see me as a chunky monkey. I, You know what I see? You know what I think? Sometimes I didn't want to be around people. And I figured they were going to, it was going to be, well, I, not so much the people, but the amount of food that we would have lined out off that table. Sometimes you just may want to avoid it by not going at all. Now that can be a little bit much because, you know, you want to be able to fellowship oh, with your right. family. Mm -hmm. But we have another plan for you. Don't miss this next step. Okay. Don't miss it. Okay. So throw the party. So why not throw the party? So if you do. If you do, you will have more control over the food options, the drink options, mm -hmm. and the portion mm -hmm. sizes. You can choose to have fresh food platters, salads, sugar-free options to your favorite de desserts, and bake entrees instead of fried. The plate sizes, make it smaller. Many times the plates are just too large, so they encourage overeating. Mm -hmm. So if you go invite, if you go or if you're invited out during the holidays or any other time, just bring your own healthy dishes. I love, I love these options. So you being in control says a lot because what I don't like to do, do is go to a gathering. And when I get there, there's no options for us as um, yes. sometimes you find that the, the salad is already smothered in mayo. Uh, you know what I mean? There are so many things that the food a lot of times, or they, they might put bacon, um, what do they call it? Hammock or something in that. Yeah. So even if you as a plant-based eater want to eat, um, and you say, okay, I'll just eat the sides or I'll just eat the salads. Oftentimes the salads might contain ingredients that you don't want to consume. So I like this. Either you take your own food, just take your own food, or Marley will, will go on with more what you can do. So this is a great option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Throw the party, man. Throw the party. If you have space and you can accommodate it, that's what we should do. Yes. And then my dad, my father was such a man of wisdom. This is something he always, and my mom, my yeah. father, my mom, and my brother Ken, who died already, he was, was murdered, unfortunately. He would always say, eat before you go. <laughs> eat before you go. Now, you don't have to eat a full meal, right? Yeah. You don't have to eat a full meal. You can just eat something before you go. Do it. Let me tell you why. Because when you get there, one, if they don't have what you want to eat, like Michelle said just now, at least you know that you would have eaten something and you would have, uh, you would have something. So then when you get there, I have a smaller serving, right? It could be small. It could be just have some nuts and raisins or make a little trail mix, a little homemade trail mix. Have some, some fruit before you go. Have a salad before you go, right? Don't skip meals. In skipping your meal, what's going to happen? You're going to be so hungry. You're going to be so ravenous for your next meal time. You're going to end up eating out of control, okay? So don't skip meals and eat before you go eat a little something before you go anybody agrees with me there hi valerie good morning yeah. good morning good morning yeah. what we do is devon would say cook before you go and when we go we don't stay long we all normally just go show our face hi hi and head on home to eat <laughs> so we cook before we go so either or is good but don't go hungry just like how you don't go to the Super grocery store hungry. Don't leave home hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't go to the food store hungry. Because oh, oh you know what happens when I go to the food store hungry? I go to the chip aisle. Yes. Ah. Now, I'm not a chipaholic, but I will definitely eat some chips when I'm shopping, you know. Yeah. And then my, 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 my managers know Marlene's going to pay the bill. I don't even be worried about it. Thank you, Joelle, for joining us. Thank you, Kate. Um, Kalissa, for joining us. 
Uh, eat before you go. Yes, eat yeah. before you go. Yes, agree. Eat before you go. I think my dad always tells that. Eat something before you go, Marlene. Don't just because you don't know. You just don't know. Don't know. Yeah. So don't. Uh, this is mine. Don't deprive yeah. yourself. So once you have gotten clearance from your nutritionist, simply find out how you can treat yourself and still stay on track. Treat yourself to something that you enjoy small. By avoiding everything, you will likely make you want it all the more. So this can lead to binge eating. You can try making a low-fat version, a vegan version, a sugar-free version of mm -hmm. your favorite dish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, you can, you know, I love that. Your choices. choices. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we, you know, this was one of the one that a lady sent me back. She was like, you know something? I'm so happy that you told me to don't deprive myself. She said, because my son's a chef. And she said, he was like, mommy, how are you going to manage during the holidays? You know, um, you, you know, you're fighting this. She's now just been recently diagnosed with diabetes and whatever. And she's like, you know, I just want to be sure that I don't eat anything that I shouldn't eat. And I'm not going to have none. And he's like, what? I'm going to cook all this food. You're not going to eat any of it. So when I shared this in the group, she's like, oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Don't deprive yourself. Have a little. Have a yeah. little. You know, have a little. Step away. This is mine. Step yeah. away from the buffet. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Stay far. Yes. Whatever you desire to take up, do it one time. In other words, take up what you're going to put on your plate, what you're going to have. That's take it. it all up one time. Do not go back for seconds. <laughs> do not go back for a second. This is your plan. This is the way you're going to work this Christmas and the New Year's and whatever holiday that's coming up. Don't go back. Put whatever you want on that plate one time. Okay? Now, I'm not telling you to buy it so high. Okay? But whatever you want, whatever you want do it one time. Um, I often tell people the only seconds you should have would be salad, so long as it doesn't have dressing. Yeah. Because that salad dressing can pack Definitely. on pounds, guys. You all don't know. Calories yeah. galore. The sure. salad that should have just been 10 calories, because lettuce only have like 10 calories, is now a 1,000 calories because you packed on cheeses and uh, salad dressings. and the oils in the dressing. <laughs> all you need to do for dressing. Will you try this today, guys? I tell people I have a conkless conk salad every day. Mm -hmm. I do. I have a conkless conk salad every day. Someone called this morning. She may be watching. Cholesterol, get rid of the conk. Get a conkless salad means I take my salad. And I don't put pictures of my salad in our mail group. I don't know why. My sister said, the salad's so pretty. You should. I, I can't. I don't post too much. I'm posting all the other things. But I take my salad and I squeeze a lime or lemon, a whole half. Then I sprinkle just a little salt. Listen, it's a conkless conk salad every day. It tastes just like I'm having in the Bahamas for my persons living in other parts of the world. Our culture, our number one dish would be conch. Or you would say conch, but it's conch, right? And conch is a is a bottom, it's a it's a bottom feeder, it's a, it's a scavenger. It's a it's a sea yeah. creature, it's a scavenger, it's a shell, it's a big snail in a shell that lives in the water. And so I would just simply take my I I, I don't eat conch. Because, you know, the Bible says we do. So I just have a big salad. So that's the only thing you can go back for seconds, guys. That's it. And Michelle, I think, has here, eat your salad first. Uh, eat your salad first. You have it there? No? I, just, I forgot to put it. I, yeah. Eat, eat your, your salad, salad first. I forgot. No olive oil. If you're having seconds, there's no olive oil. Stay away from the free use of oils. Because the olive oil is one tablespoon is 120 calories. So imagine if there's two, 20, <laughs> a two tablespoon, that's 240 calories. Boom. Exactly. Just exactly. from the olive oil. So it's best exactly. to avoid it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So stay away, stay away, stay away. Sister Val, Sister Val, it tastes just like what we call scallop salad. Yeah, it does I'm taste it's very good. Just and you could do tomatoes, lemon, tomorrow, and lemon. You can add a little lemon too. 
I, I do. Mean, I said, I just, I said, lemon or lime, whichever one. Just squeeze a half of that on your plate of salad and then sprinkle a little salt. Well, you do not need good. the oil. You do not. You will not miss it. I haven't had a salad dressing on my salad in I don't know how long. So I've been staying home and working from home from August. No, yeah. I just don't. Okay. Um, another one here is stay busy. Do you know you stay away from the buffet? Stay busy with your family okay. or friends to keep your mind off the buffet table. Mm. You know, Good stay one. busy with your family and friends. Oh, and you know, you, oh. if you live alone, well, you had a function. This is how, this is out of function. Stay busy talking. Oh, shopping. Oh. You won't even remember you're hungry. <laughs> you might fellowship. not even eat, of course, and then fellowship. Oh, just fellowship. Oh. Don't be so selfish. All right. There you go, Michelle. So eat slowly. So when you eat, it actually takes about 20 minutes for you to feel full. So if you're eating too quickly, you'll end up overeating before you even realize that you're full. Next slide. It goes on. Okay. It goes on, Mari. See, I got it. Okay. Yeah, no, there you no. go. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay I got that's it. it. That's it. So so take small bites and chew slowly and mm -hmm. fellowship while you do so chew yeah. to a halt. chew slowly count to 32 for each bite Man, listen. <laughs> listen listen <laughs> listen uh, why did i try that it don't work for me i'm being honest 32 i tell you what we have a pastor pastor brennan i know he doesn't mind me calling him. pastor brennan says have you chewed your food he does that. He does. I know it works, but boy, it's hard. <laughs> well, why is it so important, Michelle? Why is it so important that we start chewing or we chew? Yeah, because in, it's important. The saliva and all those enzymes start working yeah. in the mouth. Digestion? So if you push it down, the enzymes that are needed for the starches in the mouth are already exactly. growing. So you're is getting it? food that's not being digested properly. And that can exactly, be exactly. fermentation and all that. Yeah. And you're there's not, no nothing to chew your food in your stomach. The stomach doesn't have there teeth. No, there's no teeth. <laughs> ah. There's no teeth in the stomach. There's no teeth where that food is going. And also there's more time for the brain to signal, you know, to get the signals from the stomach to connect. There's a relationship going on from your brain to the stomach to say you're full. But if you swallow, cut and swallow, in Jamaica would say like cut and swallow. If you're just quickly eating, swallowing, and not chewing properly, you end up just eating so much more. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. slow down. We need to really tell ourselves, just slow down, enjoy every bite. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Feel satisfied. Yeah. Yeah. It says, oh, oh, yeah, you got more. You got more. Okay. Once the bite has lost all texture, then you can swallow. Once your plate is empty, get up and walk away. From the buffet table before you have a chance to refill it so distract yourself get away from all and, that another one i missed there too was i should have said um just put sufficient on your fork don't overcrowd your fork i should have right. said that too. yeah don't overcrowd your fork our next slide says what's in your glass for me and michelle we're having juice now you can't see my juice because i love my little cup that i use with the strokes i don't want to mess up my clothes i'm dressed for church yeah i made sure okay. i got i went to go yeah and i just oh, happen oh. to have loads of these straws because i you know my shop clothes i have all these straws but listen what's in your glass how many calories is what you're drinking is it doing you any good you know think about it think about it i often tell my groups and my students and my Friends, whomever they may be. Everyone knows Marlene now. I don't drink calories. No. I chew calories. No. Yeah. I'm drinking this juice because this juice is good for everything in the world. High blood pressure, cholesterol, weight loss, and <laughs> cancer, and everything. So that's why I drink this juice in the mornings. That's my cup of coffee, I call it, right? It's my cup of go. It's my cup of go. I got to put that on a cup one day. It's a cup of go. <laughs> you know... Right An eggnog, which I love. I love eggnog. As a matter of fact, I told my group this week I'm going to design an eggnog, but it has to be sugar free. <laughs> because I love eggnog, but one cup of eggnog, 350 calories. Oh, yeah. One cup. One cup. Instead of alcohol and sodas and juices, why not have water? Yes. And I had put there the carbonated water, but truly it's not the best. We know that. 
Mm-hmm. You know, so just drink water. Put some lemon in your water. Put some cucumbers in your water. Put some lime or orange slices in your water. Um, and even orange, I wouldn't say orange because you don't want to have that in the, during the day because it has sugar in there. Um, put some just cilantro in your water. Put some peppermint oh, leaves in your water. Like yeah, put some spearmint leaves. I have a spearmint tree outside my yard. I need to put some spearmint infused water in my house so I can have it for my guests as they come to visit. Don't do the juices, the no. soft drinks. Stay away no. from them. Make sure that your glass is clear with just water. Okay. Distract yourself. So when that food table is calling your name, instead of thinking about food, why not find something else to do? Distract yourself with other activities like going for a walk, call a friend, find a hobby. Mm-hmm. Volunteer to wash the dishes or clean up. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a be- that's the best one. That should have been number one. Volunteer. Right. You come to my house for lunch or dinner, people. Volunteer to wash the dishes. Don't, make, right. don't leave the don't leave the dishes for me to wash. I know, I know. that's the hardest. That's the po- hardest part. Pa- I don't do paper plates. Hard. I do not do paper plates. Uh, I, I probably to- have a hundred plates in my house, maybe two hundred. Literally, I can have a party for about two hundred. I don't do paper plates. I don't do I don't do disposable forks. I don't do disposable cups. Everything must be real. At what point are we gonna use them? What are we waiting on? Marlene, I'm so busy. I'm not gonna uh, say I don't. I do now. I never used to, but now no disposable. I get the classy paper disposable one, the most expensive no. one. No. Where's brother Devin? No. <laughs> Maybe on Sabbaths is different. But during the week, no. Yeah. During the week, everyone should wash their own plate. That's yeah, the rule. They do, they do. They do. Right? And then yeah. on the weekends, on Sabbaths and Sundays, it's special. Then, you know, just designate somebody to do it or, you know. But yeah. no. I think that my house, the children. That we, we're waiting. You know, I use my china. I have china here. I don't know. I've had these china 30 years. And they're probably worth lots of money. I don't know how much they're worth. But listen, what are we waiting on? Use them. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I, when I was growing up in Jamaica, even me and Devin, we were talking about that, that you'll find these display cabinets. Yeah. We call them whatnot when I was growing up. And they would have all the 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 whatnot. Really? We call it the child closet. The child closet. China, when when I came abroad, in Jamaica, I remember something was, it was, I don't remember. Anyway. What not? maybe what not is something else, but that's nice. I like there was it. all these display c- cabinets with the dishes, and people have them for 30, 40 years and they die leaving them, never being used. That's what I'm talking about. Never used. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. It's <laughs> called a china closet in the Bahamas. Child, my china oh, closet. China cabinet. China no. cabinet. Yeah. Let's use these what things. And guess, true. hold on. Guess what it does? When you're washing those dishes. You end up burning up some of those calories of the extra slice of cake you had, or that's the extra scoop of potato salad you had, which I feel like covered potato salad. Come on, that's how I look at it. When you're washing those dishes, you're getting rid of some of those calories. Wash the dishes, use real, oh, if you have it. Drink water. Got my next cup now. This my water. Cup. Okay. That's your. <laughs> this my water cup. This my juice. No, got a juice for the water. Water, water, and more water. Drink water. water. Yesterday, a young lady who just started the program, I don't know if she's watching this morning. I don't call names, you know. She said, um, I'm having a slight headache. I'm like, how much water have you had? It was like 12 o'clock. One glass. <laughs> <laughs> One glass. Do you know what I did? Here's what I did. She had just sent me her scale weight, and she may be watching, and she's going to be tickled. I took her scale weight, because where's the formula? Half your body weight in ounces. I took her weight, divided it by two, then divided it by eight, and she needed 13 glasses of water in a day, at least. 13 eight-ounce glasses, at least. So she was like, wow, I'm going to get right on it. Drink water. And if you're going to a function over the holidays, drink some before you go. And when you get there, ask for another cup full or a bottle full. Ask your host, can I have some water? Drink that water. Wait 20 minutes and then you eat your, your meal. The water's gonna take up some of that excess hunger that yes. you have. Yeah. 
you know? Yes. I love it. Water is a must. You got to have the water. Drink water, water, and more water. How do you get it in? The best way is in the morning, as soon as you get up, you drink water. Not one glass. You need more than that, right? So in the morning, before you get up, if you have to have 13 in a day, how should I get that 13 in, Michelle? I could do two to three before we two, will two wake two, up. Three, three before breakfast. Yeah. An hour later, another three. Before lunch, another two or so. After lunch, yeah. another three. I got it in already. Do you see that? Yeah. Sister Joan is saying something, but I'm not saying. I know it's me neither. I'm not. Oh, saying she said, it. "I love this." Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you, thank Happy you. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Um, hold on. Yeah. So come on, let's do what we got to do. And just joining us this morning, we asking you a big favor. Would you share the live with your friends and family? Share it on your status. Share it on your Facebook page. I should be able to go to my page right now and all the people who are texting, I should be able to see all the shares. Hmm, I see no shares. None. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm sad. Good lesson. David says, good lesson. Donathan says, this is very important. Eunice says she's joining us from Rwanda at the church. And Levinson says, thanks for sharing. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. All right, so just get in the water. Get in your water. Okay, go ahead. Haha, -ha, okay. I love this. Can I see this one? What's it? Be, be less sedentary. Move. Okay, let me, oh boy. Okay, let me see if I can. So a walk, even in the winter, would be more beneficial to the health than all the medicine the doctors may prescri prescribe. There will be increased vitality, which is so necessary to health. The lungs will be will have needful action for it is impossible to go out in the Marlene, it's hard for me. So go out in the bracing, bracing air of a winter's morning without inflating the lungs. I need to look at the back end. Uh, because it's so difficult to see. Okay. As the weather changes, many choose to stop their exercise routine and tend to eat more. Don't fall into this trap. Instead, set a goal of at least 30 minutes each day. Take the 30 minutes, divide it into two 10-minute segments, walk after each meal. That can be done in your home if you can't get out due to the weather. So there's no excuse not to walk and take exercise. Yeah, because, you know, during the winter time. Um, unfortunately, seasonal affective disorder, SAD, sets in. Yep. It's not here so much in the Mountains. Mountains. You know, we live in warm Mountains. weather. Yeah. yeah. But in, country, in in the north, northern part of the United States and in areas like no. Europe where it gets really cold, yeah. people aren't getting the exercise like they should. Yeah. But do you know something? You can go to our YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, and you can walk with me in my living room. So you can walk in your living room. You know, I don't believe in excuses. I'm a girl who don't believe in excuses. Michelle could tell you. I, and I, I live this. I live this. I don't believe in excuses. Get moving, people. Stop saying, well, child, I don't know. And it's too cold outside. I know Miss Joan. Miss Joan, don't mind me calling her name. Miss Joan says, I'm going for a walk as soon as the sun comes up. She lives in New York. Yeah. Upstate Ooh. New York, where it's freezing. Ooh. It's frigid. So she I don't have any comes up and she lives on a lake where it's freezing cold. There's no and she says, as soon as it warms up, I'm going for a walk. I gotta get in my 10,000 steps. 10,000 is the goal. That's your goal. But a digestive walk is good too, right? A digestive walk is good. Yeah, okay. I had to add that in. People get moving. Hold on, hold on. This is this is this is most recent. Yesterday I got a call from a lady. I wish I had her. Um, I think I could send her this link. Wow, if I could just remember her name. Yesterday, this lady calls and she says to me, she says, Miss McKinney, are you going to continue with your classes during the holidays? And I said, yeah. She said, oh, I'm like, are you going to eat during the holidays? <laughs> I said, aren't you, going to, aren't you going to eat during the holidays? There she goes. I'm sending her the link right now. She said, Yes, I said, well, then of course we're going to exercise. 
I don't believe in excuses. As a matter of fact, Michelle can tell you guys. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, my friend Thelma can tell you. If Thelma's watching. Good Christmas good. Day? Uh, New yeah. Year's Day? Every day. I don't care what day it is. I Hold on. If it's a holiday, I walk extra. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I do. <laughs> if I normally do two hours, I do four. You understand? <laughs> so let's stop with the excuses. Hi, sweet girl. Good morning. Oh, How you so doing? Nice. That's Opal. Good morning, Opal. Nice. Happy Sabbath. No, I don't believe in the excuses. Get moving. Find time. You say, I don't have time. No, make the time. <laughs> I don't care. Listen, I'll say this. I'm going to take this slide down for a second because I want you to see my face. Listen, <laughs> when I have babies, when I have babies, my children are all adults now. I have grandbabies now. Praise God. When I had babies, give me to what I did. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, I see it, girl. Nice. Thank you, Sister Jo. I love when it. When I had babies, do you know what I did, Michelle? I got up. Mr. McKinney would walk me to the door. So, and he'd make sure I got in that car. He could, if he were, if we were, if he were able to talk today, he would tell y'all, Marlene, don't play. Don't play. Marlene. Marlene would be out there exercising. I don't care what the weather was like. I would leave him in the rain. Because I said, guess what, Mr. McKinney? By the time I get where I'm going, it's going to not be raining. Because I asked the Lord to put an umbrella on the area that I'm raining. And I'm walking. <laughs> I don't believe, I don't believe it. Huh? It, it's, it's good to be disciplined. You have to. You says, oh, to yes. We put, in a, we, did, we put in no excuse at all, eh? No. No excuse. Thank you so much, Sister Joan, for sharing. And I believe, here's my thing. Here's my thing on this. I want you to get it, especially young moms. Young moms, you're listening here. I, I know. If you were to get it in prior to your day beginning, no one misses you. No one knows you're not in the bed with them. Get up an hour before everybody. Get it in. Get it in. I don't care. You have babies in the and the baby's cry. Give that baby a bottle, walk in your living room. You can't leave the house because for the safety, fine, no problem. Get it in. Get it in. All right? Get it in. And it should be, hold on. If you're eating every day, you should be walking every day. Hello. True. Okay. Come on. Let's do it. That's let's true. do it. Let's do it. Uh, let me get to the next slide. I'm sorry. That's that's I, I'm passionate about exercise. I love it. <laughs> Consider intermittent fasting or cutting back. Michelle's going to talk about this one. I'll share this and then Michelle's going to talk about this one also because she just shared a secret with me that works for her. And I said, you should share it, right? Reducing your consumption of food either in advance of the family gathering or holidays or parties or the day after, that's a way of doing it too. So if you know you have an event coming up, how about do a juice fast the day before? Huh? Or two days before. Because you know you're going to overeat at the event. You know your auntie just cooked your favorite dish. Your uncle just cooked your favorite dish. Your mommy just did whatever. How about doing a juice fast or a raw day? A raw day. In other words, I'm not going to have cooked food today. I'm going to just do salads and fruit. Or I'm going to have juices. I'm going to mix it up. That helps you with your calories for the week as you can look at it, you know? So that's a good way of looking at it. Or um, you can choose to say, well, I'm going to just skip a meal. But whatever you do, don't skip breakfast. Because when you skip breakfast, it sets you up. It's a setup. Yeah. When you skip that breakfast, it sets you up for failure. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get so hungry. You're going to start eating everything out of control later on in the day. You can choose to reduce your calorie intake just before or after your holiday gatherings with family friends. That's the same thing I just said. Okay, so that's just one way. Michelle has a secret she'll share with you guys, or a tip, a tip, a tip. No, this, every holiday, because here for me, right now, back on, from Thanksgiving back to Christmas, it's just food and food and parties, and, you know, you get invited to holiday functions right throughout. So this year I decided I didn't want to mess up, and I'm like, I'm on a journey, and I didn't want to go back, and I know, I know my body. I know once I start cooking because remember as food bloggers we're constantly making holiday recipes okay. and so the temptation is there i'm seeing this food all the time it's easier even for someone who doesn't prepare food but i'm preparing the foods yeah. to put on my website 
So what I decided this year I was going to do, I said, I'm going to fast. I am going to fast. And I did it for Thanksgiving. And what I did, I got up early and made four quarts of juice. Says, I prepare them first thing before I cook. And I cook for my family. And while they were eating, I'm drinking my juice. Mm -hmm. And I felt so good after. I felt like, wow, it wasn't that bad after all. So I'm doing it again for when I cook again for Christmas holiday. Wow. Same thing. Either That's I'm a lot of discipline, food. Michelle. That's beautiful. And it's only God gave me the strength. I mean, you cook all those foods and then they're like, oh, it was so good. And I'm like. It's okay. <laughs> you know, good, praise God, it's so good. But my yeah. juice was good too. And I felt, okay, good. Because wow. I'm telling you, the holiday season can start you off because there's just so much food right back now until January Amen. first. Amen. So much food. And if you start eating right now and eating all these desserts and desserts and overeating going on right mm -hmm. now, by the time come Feb January, you're like, whoa, I've gained so much weight. Yeah. Though you have to work hard, so hard to get get yeah. it off. Yeah, that's true. That's a very good tip. I love it. I love it. I love it. What I do, like right now, I'm creating a lot of recipes. I'm trying to half or quarter that recipe because it's just me, and it's really difficult to get rid of all of that food. Um, or and I can't go at the pace Michelle's going, so I just try to do as much as I can, mm -hmm. and um, so I just make that my lunch for the rest of the week. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I make it my lunch for literally. I eat the same thing. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't care. Yeah. I think it's our last slide or so. Build a positive support team. Yes. There's nothing like family and friends to support you on this journey. Mm -hmm. Do you have someone in your life that can help you? If you don't, I volunteer. That's what I do. You know, you need that support. Yeah. You need someone to be there for you. That support from family and close friends can help you. It can make you or break you in your health journey. You know, you, you tell them your triggers. My trigger is sugar. I love sweets. I know me. I don't care for salt. I don't care for savory. Just give me some sugar. Give me some sugar, sugar. You know, that's just me. Okay. And let them know. Let them know. Per like, listen, I can't do this. I did this week, um, and it'll be uploaded tonight. I did this week um, of sugar-free millet cheesecake. I have my cousin just now share, sharing with me. She said it was really good. She said, wow, my sweet tooth must be going away because it's really good. She said, that's really delicious, Marlene. And there was not an ounce of sugar in there. And I did not use sugar substitutes. I used dates, and I used pineapple juice, not from concentrate, with no sugar added. And it was excellent, she said. Okay, let your family know that negative comments will not help you. Mm. Negative comments, you know mm. what it does? It discourages, it spirals, mm. you know? And let them just, just. I'm talking to you now, family members. You're the support, don't be negative. You're the support, don't give negative comments and sarcastic comments. Be encouraging. Yeah. Be encouraging to your family and friends as they're going through this tough time. You know, we have to be so careful what we say and how we say it because when we wear a lot of weight, we also have a thin skin. You know, <laughs> we, have, we have thin skin. We don't like when people say, uh, well, were you sure you should be eating all that? You, you, yeah, don't, don't do that. Just hug that person and say, I don't know what to tell them. I, got, I can't say what to say. Just pray, pray before you do, you know. Oh, there goes another. Yeah, I added this one. So emotional issues are a common trigger for the binge eating. And if you know that, for example, emotional issues can lead to changes in the brain chemistry that increase the likelihood of engaging in binge eating behavior. Emotional issues can also increase the level of stress and individual experiences, which can trigger these binge eat eating episodes. So you need to avoid negative conversations when you get together with your family or any kind of altercations at all costs. And we know around the holidays when all the families come together, sometimes they start rehashing. Yes. You know, inventing yes. all the things that this one did to me and that one did to me. And that's not good around because you can start binge eating if you, it's a trigger for you. So 
avoid any kind of negativity. Yeah. Yeah. We really got it. Listen, because we know what happens when we get together as family, right? Y'all yeah. know what happens when we get together as family. Anyone else knows? Yeah. When we get together as family, oh boy. Oh, it can be painful sometimes. <laughs> it can be painful. And that can really cause us to dig our graves with our teeth. Make healthier versions of your favorite. Hello. That's what I've been doing. Yeah. I love sweets. So I just create sugar free versions. Yes. That's all. I think, I think I'm going to just do a whole chapter on my blog. My favorite sugar free versions of your favorites. You know? Yeah. Come on. Make it dairy free, oil free, sugar free. Instead of chicken wings, do cauliflower wings. Yum. <laughs> Instead of the store-bought cake, make your own version mm -hmm. with the dates and the coconut sugar and the maple syrup instead. Try doing some of those today. Why don't you just try? Not today, it's Sabbath, but tomorrow or tonight, you know? Start creating, looking for healthier options to what you're used to having. This week, I did a creamy Alfredo pasta. And I wish Bev were on because I gave some to Beverly and I gave some to Pam. Beverly says, Marlene, are you sure this is, this is, um, no, this can't be dairy free. She said, this is impossible. No, she said, she said, uh uh, no, no, no. And she said, you sure? And she kept asking me. I said, I, she said, I said, Michelle, I haven't cooked regular food in 24 years. <laughs> <laughs> and I would not even, I wouldn't even bring it to my house because I know I don't eat it. No. And so I, I mean, she was so excited about the taste. And Miss Pam was like, Marlene, the pasta is really good. So I'm really happy to know that, you know, you can make dairy free versions of everything. Everything. Along with, listen, I'm going to put up. A website that you can go to. Healthier Steps don't play. Healthier Steps have two thousand plus recipes. Sister Marlene, it's something better. Maybe I've I don't know how much I have. Just a few because I've just started. You have hundred by now, possibly. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have at least I have six pages. So you know, I'm just saying we can do this. We can win. Just keep fighting at it. Don't give up. Don't oh, that slide's not showing. That slide's not showing. Oh, but that I slide. Think, okay, you say it. Yes. yes. Yeah, that slide says, I can do all things. All things. Through Christ. All things. All. Oh, all encapsulates you... all. All. Right? Any all. and everything. You can do it. Halcyon says, sounds great. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank yes, you. it does. You can do everything. Once you make up your mind that you want to do something, you can do it. Yes. yes. You can do it. You, and God, you can. God said it, so you can do it. He said it. He means it. God said it. I believe it, and that settles it for me. That's yes. the song, right? Yes. God said it. <laughs> I believe it, and that settles it for me. Dun, dun. <laughs> you know, if, and, and, and just, 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 just fight. Just, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Like Nike says, just do it. Right? Let me plug in my computer. It's about to go shut down. Yeah. yeah. Just do it, guys. All right. There we go. So I hope that this uh, information truly yes. helped you all as you prepare for the holidays. And we know they're just ahead. Just a matter of days. And we'll have all that buffet in front of us to choose from. You know something, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. You're gonna be so miserable after. Exactly. You're gonna be so upset with yourself after. Oh, like, why? Why did I? <laughs> it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. So, just good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just morning. Hi, Nara. <laughs> morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just morning. How you doing, Nara? <laughs> yeah thank you for joining us remember anara you. to share it share it share it. amen amen love it powerful. Powerful. love it once all is said and done we made up mind is what counts yeah but you know something this is a vow we make some people make up their mind i am going to eat that food i don't care what y'all say 
That's true too. So, Child, please, it is Christmas. She said, right. She said, what's all said a, a made up what code? So if they make up the mind against it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Girl, I am eating my stuff. Oh. Child, please. please. After all, it's only Christmas. It's just one day. I know. What about those leftovers are left in the fridge that we continue picking on all day long? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Because you make too much food as is. It's like total gluttony. You put out too much food and then for days after you just keep eating, eating, eating. Exactly. Exactly. I see a sister here that I haven't seen in a while. I must pause oh, this The other day I asked for you, Sister Veronica. Sister Veronica. Where are you? How are you? I haven't heard from you in a while. What's going on, my beautiful girl? Uh -huh. How you doing? We miss you. <laughs> miss you tremendously. Miss you tremendously. Colleen, thank you for joining. And thank you, Sister Joan, for sharing with Colleen. Thank yes. you very much. We appreciate that. We really do. Yeah, we really do. So it's 59 sec minutes to the what? perfect timing. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. I hope that um, someone today was blessed enough that and then you would share the information. I really pray that you were really armed with some information that will help you in this journey. That's really what I hope. I really hope yes. so. Yes. I, I love the idea about fasting through the meals. Um, I don't know if I could be like Michelle and not eat at all. Could, yeah, you could eat one meal. See, make that your one meal for then for the well, you know, for, for me, I do, I do the raw breakfast. I didn't do raw breakfast all week. I was eating millet pudding all week. <laughs> so do that as your as your one meal and eat a salad yeah. in the morning. Exactly, exactly. And drink lots and lots of water in between because a lot of times we do yeah. the, the fasting, we may get a lot of headaches because you know it's a lot of um toxins are being pulled out yeah. of the system. So until your body gets used to it, I say. In between your your juices or your fruit or whatever, lots and lots and lots and lots of water yeah. that will keep you. That will keep you. All right. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you all for joining us today. Uh, Marley, you want to go over? Let's go over the name. We thank you so much. Hawa. Thank you so much for joining us. I don't remember that Facebook page. Edward, thank you. Patrick. Anjali, thank you so much. We're happy you came. Linda, Boniface, um, Persephone. Persephone. <laughs> Persephone, I'll get it, I'll get it. Linda, Alliance, thank you so much, Patrick, for joining us today. And Janice and Persephone, I want to get it. <laughs> Jean-Claude, we are happy you made it today. Hopefully we'll see you all again next week, same time, same place. Linda, Benoit, A. Smith, thank you. Sonia, thank you so much. And Joel and Justine. Are Musica. You Don't miss Musica, Valerie, Calissa, Celine, Levinson, Grace, <laughs> Donatha, David, Joan Forrester, Stevens, Halcyon, Opal, Adley, um Delma, Miss Veronica, Colleen, and Nara, Val, we say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for joining us this morning, for sharing the live, for commenting, liking, oh, all the love. We just love yes. it. We say thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. And yep. now we hope that you're armed and dangerous and ready to fight this crazy thing called holidays with Yes. Eating better option. All right. And remember to visit our website, Something Better Today, and help your steps for options to your favorite recipes so yes. that you can win this battle yes. and um, be victorious when it comes to your appetite. All right. So, God bless you all. Bless. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, when do we come back? Tuesday? That's what I'm wondering. I'm not sure what I'm not sure about Monday. Let's see, Monday. Oh Monday! Monday, I forgot. Yeah, Mon yeah, Monday. <laughs> Monday <laughs> and Tuesday. Yes. And we'll be back in January with our relationship program. We are putting a lineup of programs together for you. So we'll be back in January. So hold on. Because somebody said yesterday, Michelle, they called it. We lo I love your Sabbath evening programs. I love it. I said, wow, we haven't been back on because we have a hard time getting men to come on. That's okay. 
Yeah. I know. Yeah. So we, we, don't don't want to see, we don't want to see bias or, you know, what you, what's the term? We want both. One we'll side. We want to hear it also from both sides. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Take care. Bye-bye.